Welcome to Last TV. Today is our last talk. Today our main topic is about abortion. I'm your host, Tong Simon, with my guest. My name is Tapendi Anna Mary. I'm a guest. <sighs> my name is Oketui Khaled Joshua. I'm a guest. My name is Tushare Michelle. I'm a guest. As our topic is about abortion, let my guest first, uh, first define the word abortion. As to me, I think abortion is the forceful removal of a fetus from a woman's womb before the period of nine months. That's what I can say. As I also told you about our topic, let my... You see, this topic about abortion, we need to know what causes abortion in our community. Okay, one of my guests, will you be honored to tell me what causes this in your community? It will be my pleasure. As for me, one of the causes that I can say is lack of parental support. Like a child that's already alright, you've already gotten pregnant, and then you go back to you go back home to your parents. Like, mommy, daddy, I made I made a mistake, and I'm already pregnant. The parents will be like, get out of my house, go away, go back to that man who impregnated you. The parent disowns you. In that process of fear, you end up aborting the child. Eh? That stuff of a kind. Uh, according to me, abortion can be caused by ignorance. This happens like, for example, when a girl goes, engages herself in sexual intercourse and ends up getting pregnant and she's not ready to handle the baby or is not of the appropriate age. So she automatically needs to abort. Yeah, there is depression. Some of them have that depression that when their friends see them, they'll, they'll make a mockery about them, they'll laugh at them, and that's the reason why they're born. That's my point. What I can say is like fear to deliver. You're already pregnant and then you're like, ah, oh, how will I deliver this baby? I'm too small. Can I bring out a baby? And then you'll be like, no, the best solution for me is to abort the child. Eh? And then you end up aborting the child in the fear. That's what I can say. Abortion causes a lot of dangers in our community, to our girls, to our societies. But what are the main dangers of abortion? And what ways could you use, use to solve them, please help us. One of the, the dangers that I can say is that it leads to death in a process whereby the placenta remains in the womb and then it fails to come out. Remember the placenta is which carries everything connected to the baby and then it fails to come out. It can force you to go through an operation, a serious operation to the point whereby you might not survive and your chances of surviving be too low, whereby normally it's called death. That's what I can say. Uh, according to me, it's one of the dangers of uh, abortion is barrenness to the girl, the girl side. Because during that process of, of abortion, the uterus is damaged to a point, and sometimes, if most, most not likely, the uterus can be damaged, making it unable to host another another fetus, making her unable to have a child ever again. Yeah, abortion also leads to loss of weight. You know. During, during that loss of weight, you lose a lot of blood and you know blood plays a very important role in the body. So if you don't have blood, you also get some diseases, which, which are also lead to loss of weight. Have said, I think it makes a girl to lose self esteem. Imagine, like, you're with your friends, like a senior, two students. Now, your friends are looking at you, and your, your, the belly is already, the belly has already started growing. Eh? That point, whereby, you, uh, what if those guys see me? How will they look at me? You've been fear, you can't even move with your friends. You start hating your life, and then you'll be like, no. The only, the only thing I can do is to abort this child and live my life, what? A free life. And then, where by that point, it's going to make you do what? It's going to make you to engage yourself again in bad, bad peer groups to the point where by, uh, maybe these girls, they will help me. They will not bring out my secrets to the what? To the neighbors and to my other friends. So you just stay close, stitched inside one place because of the fear. That's what I can say. Also, abortion causes one to lose safe esteem. Like when, when, a, when a girl gets ab aborts a baby, she begins to feel unfit in the society. And one of those reasons sometimes may commit suicide. But as 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 a responsible citizen, what do, what advice do you give to those young ladies who are about to engage in abortion to keep them safe? I can advise them to abstain from sex 
because in case you don't go around roaming around everywhere oh with God. every man you're the one who wants to have sex day in and day out in case you don't get pregnant there's no way you can abort can you abort air no it's impossible meaning that in case they abstain themselves from sex they can't abort the child yeah. so according to me i would advise the girls to use the abc the a stands for abstain from sex uh, be faithful to one sexual partner and condom use these can prevent uh, unwanted deconceptions yeah me i would advise them to join educate club because it will make them busy and if you be busy you won't be able to go for sex and if you don't have sex you won't be able to abort as i was passing by the community today one of the members said abortion leads to death and the solution to that is to arrest all men who make our young girls pregnant what do you have to say about that it's your point and truly i agree i think it's 100 percent correct because it's it's men who do this stuff you're going to have sex with the girl later on and then you reject the girl the girl comes to you baby i'm pregnant and then you'll be like excuse, excuse me, me. You have very many men you've been roaming around with. Then you'll be in the fear saying, ah, this man has rejected me. Why am I going to go to you? End up aborting the child. So I would request the government to arrest the men who do that stuff to women. That's what I can say. Uh, according to me, I think both the male, both the men and the women are accountable for this for this crime. Because you can't tell me you can get pregnant without your without your consent. Automatically you had both of you had an agreement no. to have the sex. That's not the first true. Place. What about those girls who are what who are raped and then you end up getting pregnant? You go to the man, you you who raped me, you go to the police station. Is that a woman's crime? No, I was raped. It's not my crime. I had to go and seek for some help and then no one could help me. It's men's problems. All right, you can tell someone I love you and then you decide even like you're going to spend your your lives together. At the latest moment, after you realizing that the girl is pregnant, all the shape that you used to see in her, the figure that you used to see her in, is that and then you'll be like no I don't know you the pregnancy is not mine you've been you've been roaming around with every other man of course the government has to arrest the men that's what I can say uh, <laughs> according to me the women are the ones who are ignorant because you can't tell me you engage in sex knowing that they, they, one of the risks are getting pregnant and you can and still carry on with the with the act all right, the advice that I can give to the men is when your wife is pregnant or your girlfriend is pregnant and then they return back to you the pregnancy with a with a lady, you have to say yes, it was me responsible to prevent them, to prevent the lady from aborting. You encourage her no, as we both agreed to have sex or to have sex and then you tell them let's be able to raise our child and to keep our child can you tell her but the salmon can tell the woman yes i still love you but you have to abort the child because i'm not ready that the man has no house why is he going to take the child and the unborn baby it's going to tell you you have to abort to the process whereby the government has to help us ladies that's what i can say we need government's help with the men people like because 99 percent abortion is caused by parents most parents, especially the male parents, advise their children to abort due to the burden they can't handle to raise up the child and the grandchild. I know what causes a parent to tell the child that it's because the reputation of the family is going to be ruined. Imagine this is the girl whom they had taken like to the, a powerful school like Rubong Army Secondary School and then you, they take back the child at home that is pregnant. Now the parent is going to be like, no, imagine the shame. How will I be able to face my friends? How my how are my relatives going to look at me? And then you'll be like forcing the girl child to what? To abort. That's what can make a parent to tell the child about just a reputation whereby it can be gained when you leave the child to prove it to other people that you, even though when you raise somebody's other child because you might not know be knowing that that's the only child God has planned for you and then you end up about it. meaning that you'll never have a child you'll be a barren as we reach at the conclusion of our talk I would like my guest to have one last word piece of advice they give to their host. May I can advise ah. the people to arrest the doctors who allow girls to carry out abortion because you can't tell me you a doctor you can allow to kill an innocent child and yet your work is to save children their lenses should be cut off and then they should be permitted not to work again.
that's what I can say. Thank you. Uh, my last advice to the, to the girls is to abstain from sex till marriage. Because this will help them prevent some uncertainties like pregnancy and also contracting some STDs. I remain with Kitwi Kaleb Joshua, Singapore. My last word goes to the parents. They should help their, their kids. They should help their children to keep their pregnancies so that they may produce very well. In addition to what I've said, I would advise the girls to always keep it in mind that sex is always enjoyed after marriage. I remain as Nyapendi and I'm married. Thank you. Oh, it's me, your host, John Simon. Stay tuned for more.